For our belief is not according to just blind faith. Mm -hmm. It is according to what we call as evidence. And our main evidence is the miracle of Prophet Muhammad. It is what we call as the Quran. It is a miracle that you yourself, you can, uh, I mean, you can verify it. It's a miracle of linguistic. It's a language. So, you know, during that time, the people of Arab uh, are known as uh, illiterate. Prophet Muhammad, God said that he's an illiterate prophet. Someone who cannot read and write. And then what happened is he speak to the people a language that something new. It is not a poetry. It's not a magician. It's something that is not a human mind can uh, can, can think of. If let's say you have doubt that it, the Quran is really coming from God, you can try to challenge it. Mm -hmm. So what kind of challenge? God said that first, you try to create something like the Quran, mm -hmm. something that is similar to it or something much more better than it. You just need only to do one chapter only. And do you know the shortest chapter, how many words inside that? Eh? You don't know. It is called as the Surah al kawsar It only consists of uh, less than 20 words only. Mm -hmm. Do you think that is something is impossible to just to write for 20 words? Mm -hmm. Is it impossible? No. No, right? So, I mean, it's very easy, right? But you know, Holy, since Quran was being revealed, but up until now, there's no one have managed to uh, to prove. No, there's no one have managed to do something that is similar to the Quran or something much more better. Even during the Prophet time, his enemy, uh, the best in language, they also admit that it is something that not coming from human being. It's really coming from the I mean uh, high power. Right. Another thing that is hard to emulate is the structure of how the it's Surah right. was created. Yeah, have you heard of the ring composition? Ring composition meaning or, or mirroring, we call it. So if the content in the beginning is about, for example, prophethood, and the end of the surah is also talking about prophethood. And then the next verse, if it's talking about knowledge of God, and then the second last one is also talking about knowledge of God. And the same thing goes until the middle part. And the middle part is the main information that God wants to reveal to us. And it all, it all comes together in a ring composition. It's not just one surah, but the whole book. You know, each verse, it is not revealed, like for example, one time it revealed, one until ten, no. It will reveal, like for example, today it is revealed verse number ten, and then maybe another two or maybe one month, it revealed on the verse number six. So it was being revealed not in a, uh, according to uh, the sequence. There's many miracles, linguistic, like the brother yeah. said, linguistic miracles. There's also historical miracles of the Quran. The scientific, of course, the most famous one, the scientific miracles of the Quran. So many. So the Quran itself is a miracle, and yeah. it's it's also given, uh, God given a warranty. <laughs> warranty that it will never change. Yeah. They will not change. Allah, Allah says in the Quran, uh, we, we created the Quran, yeah, and we will be its guardian, meaning it will be protected. Yeah, you're from the UK. Have you heard about the Birmingham manuscript? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Birmingham, I know Birmingham. <laughs> the Birmingham manuscript is the oldest Quran. Okay. The, the Quran was written during the time of the Prophet himself. Mm -hmm. You can actually check it and then you can look at the Quran today. It's in Birmingham. It's in Birmingham. Yeah, it's in Birmingham. It's in Birmingham. Yeah, it's in Birmingham. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in the University of Birmingham. Okay, okay. Yeah. okay. They, they found it in the library there. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that uh, that is also another thing that we <laughs> proven that. Whatever God says in the Quran, it came true. Mm. And for example, Pharaoh was drowned in the sea. Until that day, nobody knows what happened to him. And nobody found his body. And then Quran revealed that Allah would preserve his body. Nobody found the mummy yet. It was not discovered. And everybody was mocking that. So where, where, where? Until now, it's proven mm. that Pharaoh's body was preserved. This is why we have so many <laughs> Devoted uh, people who believe in like, this. Like you yourself, do you have any uh, Quran with you? Um, well, I don't have it with me. <laughs> I think like my parents will in in, in their house. Okay. Oh, really? Probably. I think that might be. Would you like one? Wait, yeah. Is there any English translation? Uh, English version? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just a guideline for you to read. You can you can start at anywhere mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because the Quran is not like. You can start page one. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> even there's even there's a page one. Yeah. I mean, you can just can... If, if you just uh, flip which page you want you, uh, you want to start, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. whichever you can read. Okay, but just to share with you, uh, during beginning introduction, if there's a mistake, mm -hmm. okay, uh, they will ask to reach to the author, right? You will never see that an 
an author will say that this, I mean, their book, there's no mistake at all, right? Mm -hmm. But the unit about the Quran, he said that, see, number two, chapter two, if you ask any writer, any author, they were not going to oh, yeah, put this kind of guarantee. Yeah. But how can this, I mean, with I'm a lawyer, also? so like, I, yeah. am, <laughs> oh, my. I don't do those, you know, myself. Yeah. You know, so I do a lot of writing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, people were not going to do that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you see, how can this author make a guarantee? So it is something that means for us to, to ponder upon that. Since you are, yourself as a lawyer, <laughs> obviously you are, uh, look on the proof, right? Mm -hmm. You're not going to go for any assumption, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, if you want to learn about Islam, I mean, the best proof is the Quran itself, because this is the primary source, right? You don't go for a secondary source. <laughs> Even if, as you, as a lawyer, if you have a case, you will look for the primary source, right? So, so that is just for sharing with you. Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs>